Hey, what's going on, family? Welcome to the world's best kept secret, where the history of the descendants of the people who were enslaved in this country, the history of the descendants of the people who were enslaved in what is called America, the history of those people is the world's best kept secret, right? Wrote a book about it called Hebrews, Africans, or Does It Matter? Right, this is the paperback. It's the world's best kept secret. And this is, the, this is the hardback, right? The world's best kept secret by Rodney Jones. That's me. You can get your copies, uh, paperback, hardback, ebook, audio book. You can get all of that on Amazon. You can get the paperback and the hardback from twbkstruth.com if you maybe want a signed copy, but there is a shipping charge with that. Anyway, let's get into this. I uh, welcome you to like and subscribe. Hit the like button if you're on YouTube. Subscribe button. Hit the notification bell on YouTube so you'll be notified with new videos. I would greatly appreciate it for those on Facebook watching this. Hit the uh, follow it. Hit the like button. Hit the whatever. You can get your comments in, all of that. I wanted to share something um, about... Um, so-called black people in America having feelings about Africans. <clears throat> Talking about we don't, they don't like us and I'm not an African. And Now, let, let me say this. People have the right to feel whatever they want to feel. They have the right to feel. I'm, I'm not saying what we should do or what we shouldn't do. I'm giving context to that conversation. People make their own minds up, you know, you know. Can't tell, can't tell nobody what to do. Uh, but I want to give, I, I believe there's more to it than just they don't like us and, you know, I don't know none of them and I came, my family came from Georgia or whatever, you know, that whole conversation, there's more to it. One thing that we have to realize, family, is that our ancestors were enslaved in this country. I know we know this. I know we know this. But the thing is, the fact that we that our ancestors were in see, we can't skip that part. To skip that part is to skip part of our history. But what, what makes that part so unique, which I make crystal clear in my book, upside down, in my book, is that the, the slavery that we endured, that our ancestors endured, stripped us of our culture. So we were stripped of any appreciation of who we were, right? This is why we don't appreciate Africans. Now we say, okay, they don't like us. Well, I disagree, right? I have been to Africa. I have been to West Africa and a lot of people saying that ain't never been over there, right? But I disagree. Um, I, I, I meet a lot of Africans and I don't have a problem with them. Of course, we're going to be different. People are going to be proud of where they are. People are going to be proud of where they're from, rather. You're supposed to be proud of where you're from. And if you are really proud of who you are and your culture, you are going to be believing that nobody, um, that you are, you are, if you believe you're great, then that that's going to give an aura like people might think you think you're better than them. No, you just believe that you are great or you are somebody. I believe that's what we feel. Now, the thing that they say, you know, things that a lot of people say, we know that, okay, so we say, well, okay, I'm just American, right? I'm just American. I'm, I'm not African-American. I'm just American. I'm cool with just being American. You don't see Europe, that's what, you know, people say things like, you don't see Europeans saying that they're European-American, you know. We have to remember the context that our, that, that we are in. We are, it's not the same. Our culture was stripped. Um, white people, a lot of white people don't like black people. 
A lot of white people who call themselves Americans do not like black people, and we know this. But we still don't have a problem calling ourselves Americans, right? See, American is only uh, denoting citizenship. Europeans may say they're Americans, but they don't deny that they came from Europe. They don't deny that they are Europeans. They don't deny that. They don't say, I'm not European. They're just referring to their citizenship, which is American. But we must realize that in this country, in America, uh, our citizenship is not the same as the citizenship by Europeans. What I mean by that, what I mean by that, this country called America was structured, was originally structured for the Caucasian male land owner. This is what this country was structured. It wasn't structured for our ancestors who were on July 4th, 1776, when this country was declared free, my ancestors were still on the plantations. You have to get the context correct, right? So me being an American is not the same as a white person, so-called white person being American. I don't mean we have to be angry and woe is me and they, they keeping me down. It ain't none of that old foolishness. I'm just saying this is the truth. This is what we are dealing with. We can't look at it through the lens of the Europeans because it won't work for us. We know this because when we get stopped by the police, we don't get treated the same on average on average. We don't, we don't get treated the same. We can't, we can't, um, uh, for, as far as a police is concerned, I can't stand up for my rights, um, as securely as I could if I was a white man. I can stand up for my rights, but I have a higher chance of a bad situation happening. Yeah. So, so the, so the context is different, right? Just because I'm an American don't mean that I'm going to really get protected as an American. So I'm not going to identify, completely identify myself as an American because that's not, that doesn't give it a true sense of uh, who I am because America identifies my, my type of people, my hair texture, uh, my skin color, it's not correct. So I, I can't, I, I can't just go with American. Um, but it's, it's just amazing. Well, so what, what would I call myself? Um, I actually call myself Hebrew, right? And this is why I wrote this book, Hebrews. Are we Hebrews, are we Africans, or does it matter? And I delve into the whole, I delve into the whole conversation beginning with our history. Because it all has to be, that, that whole conversation has to come from the perspective of our history. Our history, right? Um, our history cannot be told. When I say our, I'm talking about the descendants of the people who were enslaved in this country. Right? Our history cannot be told truthfully without sounding controversial. That's the first line, first thing I put in my book. We cannot truthfully discuss black, so-called black history without sounding controversial. But we, we've got, like the late Dr. Francis Chris, Chris Wilson stated, black people had better be controversial. So, but that conversation needs to be discussed. A lot, a lot of times people think of Hebrew as a belief. I'm not talking about a belief. When I say Hebrews, I'm not talking about a belief. I'm not talking about a belief. I'm not talking about a belief. I got the Bible in the background because that's where we get the term Hebrew from. But when I say, are we Hebrews? I'm not talking about a belief. I'm not talking about a belief system. I, I recommend get the book. It's an interesting conversation. 
I'm into genealogy. I've been doing genealogy for 20 years. Uh, yeah, right at 20 years. Uh, so I'm really talking about bloodline. Um, th this is a conversation that we need to have because that's what was stripped through slavery. Uh, so I'm talking about when I ask, you know, are we going to identify as Africans? So a lot of people say, I'm not African. I'm not African, man. I don't know none of them. None of them. They don't like us, you know. And and I, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Uh, but a lot of white people don't like us either, you know. And we, we still want to be American, you know, because we're here, right? We're here. And we know that our ancestors came from Africa, so we're there too. So we got to make a choice. Some people might say, a lot of people are saying, well, I'm not neither one. You know, I'm, I'm Cherokee or I'm, you know, I'm Seminole or I'm, you know. Well, let me just tell you something. So I have a lot of, we have a lot of Native American ancestry in our, in our ancestry. In my ancestry, I know this, right? Like I said, I've been doing genealogy. I know that I have Chickasaw. I know that I have Creek. Um, I know that I have uh, Blackfoot. But listen, with my family, with my family, right? So my great-grandfather uh, was a Creek freedman. I got his roll number. I, I got, I got documents. There's no doubt about it. He was a Creek freedman. Now, a Creek freedman, by definition, is a descendant of, uh, uh, is, a, is a, excuse me, a Creek freedman. A freedman, by definition, is a slave and as enslaved. He was a slave of a, an Indian or a Native American, so-called Native American. That's, the, that's by different definition, that's what a freedman is. They were slaves of the Indians, or Native, Native Americans, so-called Native Americans. I say, no, I say so-called Native Americans because uh, there were some Africans who were here before Christopher Columbus, right? So the red Native, red so-called Natives aren't the only Native, aren't, they're not the only Native Americans. Um, Ivan Van, the late Ivan, the late Dr. Ivan Van Sertima uh, prove that. But anyway, so, <clears throat> but so my great grandfather was a Creek freedman. And so they, they passed a law um, that, well, we had a judgment that the Creek nation had to include the freedmen into their, into the nation, right? So the, the Creek nation was fighting it. The Creek nation was fighting it. They were fighting it. Well, uh, uh, the judgment came, and th they were uh, they were instructed by a judge to include the freedmen, which would be black people, mostly black people, because they were enslaved. They were just people who were enslaved by the Creek Native Americans, so-called Native Americans. But they didn't want to let us in. So now. They, they, we, we had a judgment that they had to include us in the nation, in the Creek Nation. But now the Creek Nation is appealing it. But in the meantime, my family, you know, a lot of us are going ahead and registering. But boy, they are fighting us tooth and nail. I mean, they are making it so hard. For I, I, I mean, they are coming up with stuff. I mean, okay, I got my birth certificate. I got my mama's birth certificate. I got my mama's death, my mother's death certificate. You know, I got my grandmother's. And, and then uh, they told me, what did they tell me? They told me, oh yeah, they said that my birth certificate um, was amended or something like that. And, and there was... So they needed to, they needed a copy of the original birth certificate, and I see nowhere on my birth certificate where it was amended. I, I mean, it was it was really crazy. So I've got to mail something to the Washington D.C. and get a Social Security something, and and they're and they're coming up with these type types of uh, red tape issues for just about all they could. They're finding something. 
to make it hard, right? I had a relative say, you know, we're trying to get included into the Native American, the Red Native American tribes. But my cousin said, but I don't see none of them looking for us. We're trying to be one of them, but they're not reaching their hands out as a whole, as a whole, embracing us. There's racism there too. My great, my great, great grandmother was a full blood Chickasaw Indian, Native American. She married my great, great grandfather who was a black man. After she married him, they put her out of the Chickasaw Nation. And the implication, I've got the court records where she fought it for five years, five or six years. The implication, we believe that they put her out because she married a black man and they started calling her a Negro and all this kind of stuff. Um, and, and, and it's, that's, that stuff is seen all throughout the history of the so-called Native Americans. So we're not getting away from the racism thing. It's like, okay, we don't want to embrace the people who look like us, but we want to embrace the ones who don't like us as a whole. Of course, you're going to, as a whole, they don't like us. But then we are hating the ones who look like us. This is my thing. If I'm going to embrace a culture, you do what you want to do. Like I said, this is, I'm not telling nobody what to do. I'm just giving context, right? You do what you want to do. But if I'm going to embrace a culture, I think it's best that we embrace a culture that looks like us. So I'm pointing to my hair because we're the only people with, with so-called nappy hair. I know my hair. I got to get a haircut. Yeah, I'm looking bushy, bushy. But yeah, if we're going to embrace, if we're going to embrace a culture, embrace a culture that looks like you. Otherwise, we're going to always be dealing with this racism thing. When I went to Africa, it was so crazy. When I went to Africa, West Africa, we got pulled over. Well, we didn't get pulled over. Pulled over to a roadblock. And I tell this story a lot. It was a roadblock. We were coming from the slave dungeon. It was a long road. We are going back to Accra. Coming from, uh, 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 I can't remember the place where, the, where that slave dungeon was. Uh, but anyway, we was going back to Accra like a three-hour drive. Anyway, it was nighttime, so we got pulled over. And it was, uh, so we got pulled up, dark road, no street lights. They had a big old gate out in front of the road and the police officer was was flat, flashing us over with a flashlight. So we pulled over on this dark road. He had a machine gun strapped around this, you know, going across his chest, you know. And he came, I'm on the driver's side. I'm on the driver's side. My, my dude, Seth, was driving. He's from Africa. He's from the, uh, the God tribe, right? They're descendants of the biblical Hebrews also. But he, you know, we pulled over and, and the police came to my side, right? I'm on the right side. I'm sitting in the passenger seat on the right side. So he came over to my side and it was nighttime. He had a flashlight. So he was shining the flashlight and he looked at me and I guess he could tell that I wasn't from Africa. Uh, he could tell. So he shined the light and he just said, welcome, right? He kind of smiled. And he went around the car and started talking to the driver in, in that, I think it was in Twee, twee language. Twee language. And, you know, it, but I didn't feel, no, I wasn't afraid. I didn't feel that fear that I would have felt if I got pulled over, possibly on a, on a dark road by a white officer with a gun. That feeling was not there. I did, I was not, I, I don't, it was just, it's just different. It's just different, you know. It's just different, right? But we want to embrace that, see, that's 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 a mentality that slavery did to us. Uh, anyway, I talk about all that in my book. Um, I don't want to get into that. I just wanted to get some context of the conversation about us. You know, I'm not African. I'm not African. You know, I don't know none of them. My family came from, you know, and, and all that's all that's good. All that's good. But there's a there's a bigger conversation. There's more context that we need to get into this conversation. 
Uh, once again, I talk about this in my book, Hebrews, Africans, it doesn't matter. Um, I, I talk about our history first. I talk about our history first. Then I go into the scriptures because Hebrew comes from the Bible. So I, I go into the scriptures to get proper context on what a Hebrew is uh, because a Hebrew is African. But I explain all of that. I'm not talking about a belief system. I'm talking about bloodline. This is what Hebrew really was in scripture. It wasn't a race. It wasn't a belief, not in the Bible. In the Bible, it wasn't a race. It wasn't a belief. It was a bloodline. Um, so, but I explain all of that in my book, Hebrews, Africans, it doesn't matter. So get your copy on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, you can get on Amazon. If you have Prime, it's free shipping. Or you can go to twbkstruth.com. Uh, and I twbkstruth.com, you can order one and I'll, I'll autograph it. But there is a shipping charge. Uh, but anyway... Love you guys. Uh, don't be ashamed of our history. Don't let, no, don't let nobody shame you trying to make you think that um, our history is controversial. I mean, yes, they're going to say that. They're going to say our history is controversial. Of course, because it's against them. It, it, it exposes, you know, our history exposes. So, yeah, they're going to say that because they feel some kind of way. That don't mean it's not true. And only the truth will make us free. There is no justice without the truth. We need the truth, right? Uh, I, I can go on and on. I got to go. Got to go, family. Love you guys. Like, comment, share the video. Uh, what are your thoughts on all this? I mean, I'm open. You know, I don't know everything, so I'm open. I'm open to comments. Um, I believe we are better together. So uh, on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, on Facebook, you know, like it, share, all that good stuff, y'all. Love you guys. I'm out of here. Uh, remember, we are really better together. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. All right? Grace and shalom.